Manchester, a city of iconic haircuts, from the mods to the flops, but if you've ever had the honour of bathing your barnet in the luscious Manchester water, have you ever considered where it actually comes from? Fear not, it's actually a solution with a rather fascinating history, so strap in as we'll tell you the story of one of the north of England's greatest engineering developments, apart from the obvious of course. It's time to go back to the mid 19th century when the city of Manchester was absolutely booming and as a result required huge quantities of water to keep the city ticking along. However, it became increasingly clear that the existing setup which took water from reservoirs at Longendale in the Peak District was not equipped to handle the growth of the city. So in 1874, an alternative solution was proposed by civil engineer John Frederick Bateman to abstract water from the Lake District. An initial solution was to take water from Old's water in the North Lakes, however it was eventually decided that the existing lake at Philmere was better suited to move water by gravity to Manchester. As a result, Philmere would be vastly enlarged by building a dam on the northern end of the lake, which is its natural exit, raising the original lake's water level by 20 feet, flooding much of the valley surrounding the lake to the south. Despite some fierce opposition, the scheme would be approved, with construction commencing in 1886, and during construction, up to 6,000 men were working on the development, building the dam and tunnels to move water south to Manchester. The dam was completed in 1894, with water arriving to Manchester that same year, for a ceremony which welcomed the water for a special water fountain in Albert Square. The final aqueduct would be 96 miles long, starting from Philmere Reservoir, eventually ending up at Heaton Park Reservoir, just north of Manchester. 44 miles of pipe and 37 miles of cut and cover tunnels make up the system, with the tunnels consisting of a D-shaped concrete structures, 300 mil thick. The longest section of the tunnel is at the start of the system, just over 3 miles, as it passes under Dunmill Race. The system is the longest gravity fed aqueduct in the country, with no pumps along its route. Water along the aqueduct flows at a speed of 4 miles per hour, taking just over a day to reach Manchester, running at a gradient of 1 in 3200 and carries over 27 million litres of water a day, providing immense positive impacts to Mancunians daily, which can only be surpassed by one other thing. Oh, and Gerard slipped and Denver bars in here! Out comes Minilay, but 